guys how are you and welcome to this video so my name is Joko Magic aka Hannah and you landed on Joko's sax lessons I give you tips and tricks on how to improve your sax game so let's dive into it new video about how to practice when you are completely unfocused like me today <laughs> so I'm gonna show you what we can do to still get something done because it's gonna make us feel better and we're still gonna be very highly on our journey to improve. First point, when you have a day like this, and usually you might wanna maybe rehearse uh, practice for one hour, two hours, you know, we tend to set ourselves to failure already because we put these high goals and then suddenly it's not the day and we can't achieve them so we don't even start and that's the biggest mistake we can do we just have to put them down a little bit for example instead of one hour for today's video we're gonna set ourselves to 15 minutes 15 minutes you can do so much in 15 minutes you can do a lot of meaningful stuff in 15 minutes so three exercises each five minutes okay five 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 first one let's side read some music if you don't read music or just listen to this one but basically that's something that helps me on the day i'm unfocused and that is relaxing sometimes or just read side read it doesn't have to be new song if you don't have that right now it just has to be something you you read and you just play just five minutes of reading something playing with a metronome can be something you know but it's still five minutes you played so let's do that all right, so I have something for you. It's called Short Melodies in F. I crafted a PDF with a few melodies in F and we're just gonna read that together and play it. So 80 BPM on our metronome. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna go to exercise A in one, two, three, four. <laughs> okay. Oh my days, this is one of these days. Okay, one, two, three, four. <laughs> repetition just to keep it short for the video but for yourself just uh, my I use my phone to record but take your phone I usually take my phone to set the timer that's what I wanted to say you set the timer and you have it next to you and during those five minutes you try and just really do just read the music so let's go to letter C I'm laughing uncontrollably today I think I'm really tired letter C one two three four right keep in mind always adjust the bpm if this is too fast slow it down if this is too slow for you and you're a bit bored and you're like Bleh. um make it faster so for the letter d we are going to make it a little faster so as um there are eight notes now i usually tend to start at 60 with my students 60 bpm but um we'll play that you know what we'll play that at an odd number because today is odd. 90 BPM. Bam. Letter D. 90 BPM. One, two, three. <gasps> Three, four. 
talking to you at the same time but take whatever you can take this again you can just pause the video play those um exercises again time it five minutes done bam perfect next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna play with the drone right we're gonna do that for five minutes i'm gonna keep it short on here but i am going to <laughs> I chose a drone that is in root note F. So we're going to play the scale of F. On top of that drone, okay? And what we're going to do is have fun with it. Probably, if you can't focus, don't try and play like, you know, like I'm going to play the scale. Just, just have fun. Just Whatever you've been, if it's long notes and you're like a beginner, just play like F or play A, a long note. Play the notes you know on your saxophone. And if you're advanced, just play whatever. So I'm going to do this for like a minute and uh, I'll stop it. But um, you do this for longer. Yeah, five minutes. <laughs> playing 10 minutes yeah over these drones or even 20 so your <laughs> primary goal of just making these five minutes suddenly is way easier because you lost yourself in the music let me know if that happened okay tip number three i want you to take your metronome yeah we're gonna take a scale of f we're gonna stay there for a bit and just checking the time and if it's still recording okay I tend to stay at 80 BPM because with 80 BPM I can play quarter notes and then I can play triplets for example. One, two, three, one, two, three, right? I can make divisions within the 80 BPM so I would play the notes faster but I still have the steady BPM pace next to me so I don't always switch and make it faster or slower but i play divisions of um i play subdivisions of notes so i have to move my fingers faster right so let's do that let's take f just today we stay in f right f major and i would just go i don't go up <laughs> played eighth notes and that's it and I went down okay and now we're gonna try and play triplets one two three four <laughs> let's do that again we go from F to to A we start at F we go to A and come back to the lower F one two three <gasps> All right, now we're gonna do sixteenth. Okay, onto onto G. So we start at F, 
we go until G, the note G, and then we go back down to F. One, two, three. <gasps> Now let's do eighth notes, but we go down and we come up. So we go to the low C and we come up. One, two, three. I did have no plan where I was going to end. Let's go over the whole instrument, but let's try it. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Okay, what is the goal with this? Is you set your timer again for five minutes because today you're really unfocused. So we're going to focus on just filling this time here yeah, with some exercises rather than having us not starting to play at all. So see, just like that, we played something, we played some long notes, we focused on reading something, we did some scale exercise, and maybe, you know what could happen, is that you started doing this with being unfocused, and suddenly you felt like, hey, you know what, I'm gonna continue doing this, and it slowly came into your practice. Or not, and you just played 15 minutes. Either way, well done, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you for watching, I hope this helped. Um, subscribe and check the links down below and the uh, box where I put the links. And uh, I'll see you next time. All right. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.